won't be needing that and definitely won't be needing that one either. What's up you guys? Welcome back to our weekly intentions. This is week number four and today I'm going to be sharing with you one of the greatest gifts you could ever give to others or more importantly give to yourself. Now out of these gifts which one would you rather have? Because I know which one I'd rather have. But one of the greatest gifts that I'm sharing with you today actually can't be bought with money. So won't be needing that and definitely won't be needing that one either. One of the greatest gifts that you can give to others and yourself is your presence, your full undivided attention. So how can we be more present? What does that mean and what does that even look like? We're gonna find out right now, let's go. To me, being present means being completely focused on what's going on right here, right now. You're not focusing on what happened earlier today or what might happen tomorrow. You're fully focused on living in the here and the now. I like to take my surroundings in and feel them, feel the beautiful nature that's around me, touch the earth, whatever it is that is surrounding you. <sighs> Just really feel the surroundings. Okay, this might be a little bit too far. <laughs> okay, but really, even when we're out with our friends or our spouses, we're going to listen more than we speak. Actually look them in the eye and fully engage with our undivided attention in these little precious situations that we most likely take for granted. So this week, as we focus on being more present with ourselves and with others, how can we stop our minds from wandering and really focus on what is going on around us? We can be more present by actually feeling our feelings, allowing ourselves to take some time to meditate and become ultra mindful of our thoughts and ignoring those things that may be distracting us or going on around us. Speaking of getting rid of distractions, it's another great idea to spend some time, especially in the mornings, away from your phone and take breaks from it throughout the day to bring yourself back to your intention and back to that mindfulness. Now it's time to get out our intention journal so that we can set our intention for being present this week. Now go ahead and set the other reminders in your phone or however else you are keeping these intentions top of mind. Thank you so much for being here with this video. I'm excited to work this week on being more fully present. Leave a present in the comments below if you're joining us for this week's intention and I will talk to you very soon in a future video. Thank you again so much for being here. Have a wonderful week.